Welcome back to another exciting chemistry lesson. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to balance chemical equations. To balance a chemical equation, you just need to follow this one basic rule. And that is, you can only change the coefficient. And we remember that the coefficient is the number in front of a chemical formula. Now, what's so special about a coefficient? Well, when we change the coefficient, it multiplies. Remember, the coefficient multiplies to all the subscript. So by changing the coefficient, you change the number of atoms for each element by multiplying it. Okay? So, that's the only rule that you really need to follow when we want to balance chemical equation. But beside the rule, in addition to that one important rules, there are a little trick that you should pay attention to. And one of the most important one is that we always want to balance the elemental hydrogen or elemental oxygen last. That means we're going to save it last. And we are going to balance other elements first, especially metals. Okay, so let's do an example problem. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, we have to divide the reactant from the product side. And we are going to make this list. So we have calcium, hydrogen, and oxygen. See how we have calcium, hydrogen, oxygen. And then over here, of course, the list is going to be the same as well because this is the same chemical reaction. And the next thing we're going to do, we have to count how many do we have with the assumption that all the coefficient is going to be one. Okay, so every coefficient now is going to be one. If that's the case, how many calcium are we going to have? Of course, we just have one because one times one is one. What about for hydrogen? Well, hydrogen here, two times one give us two. Then we have oxygen, which is one. One times one give us one. Now, on this product side, we have calcium. Look at this two right here. This two is only applied for what's ever inside the parentheses, okay? So we have calcium, we just have one. And then for oxygen, look at this two times one give you two. But for hydrogen right here, right? Two times one give you two. But we also have another two right here. So that gives us a total of four. And that's how we count the number of atoms for each element. So to balance this, remember the golden rule is that you can only change the coefficient. And the strategy is always save the elemental hydrogen and oxygen last. Do we have any of them? Well, in this case, we have the elemental hydrogen. We're going to save this last, okay? So let's go and balance other things. In this case, the calcium is already balanced. And we look at the hydrogen. Here we have four, and here we have two. So, where do we have hydrogen on this side so that we can multiply and change the coefficient to give us 4? Here we have the hydrogen right here, okay? So, we're going to ask ourselves, we want a total 4, isn't it? Because this product side gives us 4. So, we have 2 times what number will give me 4? And that number turned out to be 2. And notice how I just get rid of the coefficient 1 because we are now replacing with 2. So if that's the case, we have 2 times 2 and give us 4. And then we have 2 times 1 and give us 2. And look what happened. The calcium balance, the hydrogen balance, as well as the oxygen. So let's try another one. The same thing, right? We assume all the coefficient is 1. And we are going to make a list between the reactant and the product. In this case, we have Ba, hydrogen, and oxygen. And over here, we will have the same list as well. Ba, hydrogen, and oxygen. And for how many Ba do we have? Or barium, we just have one. For hydrogen, two times one give us two. For oxygen, one times one give us one. And then over here, Ba, Again, this two only applies to what's inside the parentheses. So in this case, we have just one barium. And then for hydrogen, we have two times one give us two. We also have two right here that give us four. And then for oxygen, we have two times one give us two. 
Now the next thing again, we want to save the elemental hydrogen and oxygen last. In this case, this is the one right here. We are not going to touch this coefficient. So let's get to the hydrogen. So what we have here is four hydrogen. Oh look, very similar problem right here, right? So in this case, we have four hydrogen, we have two, and this is the only place that has hydrogen. So we're going to ask ourselves two times what number will give us four. Four is coming from here. Two is coming from here. And this box is coming from here. In this case, the answer is 2, because 2 times 2 gives us 4. So therefore, we're going to replace this by 2. So if that's the case, so now this 2 times 2 gives us 4, and 2 times 1 gives us 2. And it is balanced. And that's how you balance a chemical equation. Very easy, isn't it? Let's try a harder problem. In this case, again, the same thing, we assume the coefficient is going to be 1 for each one of them. And we are going to divide the reactant from the product side. In this case, we have K potassium H O from this side, right? And of course, this side is going to be the same K H O. Now, how many K do we have? Well, in this case, 1 times 1 is 1. And for hydrogen, 2 times 1 is 2. And for oxygen, it's just 1. And over here, we have K. That's just 1. There's no K here. For H, here we have Look at this, we have 1H here, and we have 2H there. That gives us a total of 3H, right? And over here we have O, just 1. So, what we have here is everything is balanced except for the hydrogen, which is the elemental one, right? This is the last one that we want to focus, and it turned out to be the last one. Here's the tricky part. Notice this is an odd number, and this is an even number. It's almost impossible to multiply the same number, make an even and odd be the same number. It's impossible. It will never be equal to each other. In this case, what we have to do is we have to increase this by one more. What's after three? Well, we have three. What's the next number? Four. So can we manipulate this? Well, in this case, see how this is an even number? So if we multiply by another one. This continues to be odd number. Can this little one right here is the odd part. So what can we do? What's after one? We can make it two. So how do we do that? So we're going to ask ourselves, 1 times what number will give me 2? Because I want to make this into 2, and 2 plus 2 give you 4, give you an even number. So in this case, what's 1 times what give you 2? So the answer is 2. So this now becomes 2. So again, think of balanced chemical equation like a puzzle. We continue to test it out to see if it's actually worked. Let's test this out. So if that's the case, now we're going to have 2 times 1 give us 2k. Well, look, it messed up the whole entire problem, but let's continue. So if 2 times 1 give us 2 oxygen as well, but what about hydrogen? 2 times 1 give us 2 plus another 2 over here. So what is 2 plus 2? And that gave us a total of 4. So now we have even number, but over here we have an odd number. But let's see how this is going to work. We are going to balance a K because again, we're going to save this last, right? So K, I have 2 over here. So you can ask yourself, 1 times what will give me 2? So 1 times what number will give me 2? Of course, it's going to be 2. So now, oh, that's pretty easy. Okay, so the K is balanced. And the only thing not balanced is the H and O. And of course, we are going to save the H last. Because over here, what we have here is 1O and 2O. So we go up here, find where we have oxygen. Here we have oxygen here, 1. So we're going to ask ourselves, 1 times what number? Notice how I say what number. I assume even the coefficients there, I assume we are going to change to a different number. So keep that in mind. So 1 times what number will give me 2? In this case, 1 times 2. So this will be replaced with 2. In this case, we have 2 oxygen, but what is 2 times 2? Turn out to be 4. Now we have a balanced chemical equation. Now do you see how balancing chemical equation is like a puzzle? You try one thing, it works, great. If it doesn't work, you try another one. Let's try another problem. In this case, what we have here, again, we assume all the coefficient is going to be 1. So let's count each element, Na, hydrogen, and oxygen. Na, hydrogen, and oxygen. Notice both of them are the same. So how many Na do we have? One. How many hydrogen do we have? Two. See it right there? Two. How many oxygen? Just one. Now over here, we have one Na, right? Because there's no Na here. How about hydrogen? 
we have one here and two there, so that gives us a total of three. And notice how we have one here and just one. And look, this problem is very similar to the other problem. Like I said again, balancing chemical is pretty much like a puzzle. And different puzzle may look very similar because have the same pattern. In this case, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to make this odd number to become an even number by raising this by one. See how this is a one right here? So this is going to become two, and therefore we have two and a, and we have two times one is two plus two give us a total four, and then two times one give us two. And we know that na, to make this na to two is really easy. You just put that two right there because one time two gave you two, so this right here. And then for hydrogen, we have Two times what number? So two times what number is equal to four? So two times two give you four. In this case, what we have here is four hydrogen and two oxygen. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Isn't that easy? So don't worry about when you get stuck solving this type of problem. Always erase it and start all over. Let's try another problem. In this case, we have Again, assume all the coefficient is 1. So we have nitrogen and hydrogen. And we have nitrogen and hydrogen. In this case, we have how many? 2. How many here? 2 hydrogen. How many nitrogen do we have? 1. How many hydrogen do we have? 3. So what we have here, of course, we are going to save the elemental hydrogen last. So we're going to save this last, as always, right? Elemental hydrogen or oxygen last. If that's the case, let's go and focus on the nitrogen. Here we have two, here we have one. So we're gonna ask ourselves one time what number is equal to two. Remember, even though we have a coefficient one here, we ignore it. In this case, so now we have two nitrogen. What about the hydrogen? What's two times three? That gave us a total of six right there. Now let's go over here and balance the hydrogen, because the nitrogen is balanced already. The hydrogen here is two times what? So we're gonna ask ourselves, two times what number will give us six? Well, that's pretty easy, three. And there you go. All we have to do, and let's try two more. We have two more left. In this case, the same thing, assume all the coefficient is one, and we have hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and oxygen. How many hydrogen do we have? Two. How many oxygen do we have? Two. Over here, how many do we have? Two, and we have one oxygen. That's pretty easy, isn't it? We assume all the coefficient is going to be one. In this case, what we're going to do is, look, the hydrogen is already balanced, so we're going to go to the oxygen. So here is the oxygen. We have to have two on this side as well. So here we have one. One time one number will give us two. And that's pretty easy. Of course, this is going to be two. So this right here, change it to. But this affects the hydrogen as well. Now it's going to be from 4, and this now become 2. So the whole entire thing messed up, because now we have the oxygen balance, but the hydrogen is not. But let's go over here and look how we can balance the hydrogen. Here we have 2, and we want 4. So 2 times what number will give us 4? Well, that's pretty easy. 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 gives us 4, so there you go. You have a balance. One more. One last one. So we have C, H, O, C, H, O. And of course over here is going to be C, H, O as well. How many C do we have here? One. How many H do we have here? Four. How many O do we have? Two. Over here we have, how many C do we have? One. How many H do we have? Two. And how many O do we have? Two plus one give us three. So let's look at this. The C is balanced, okay. The H is not. The O is not. But again, we always follow that golden rule. Save the elemental oxygen or hydrogen last. So we are going to save this last. Let's see. Okay. Let's try this out. Now let's look at the hydrogen. We have four over here. We have two here. So here's our hydrogen here, right? So two times one number will give us four. And of course that's pretty easy. Two times two give you four. And that two will affect. Now we have four hydrogen. What about the oxygen? What's two times one? That's two plus two give us four, right? So in this case, we have four oxygen now. So let's go back to our very last thing. And again, we make an assumption everything is one. Okay, so keep that in mind. So in this case, we have four oxygen here. We have two here. So we can have ourselves two times what will give us four. And that answer is pretty easy, two. So two times two give you four. And that is how you balance chemical equation. Very easy, isn't it? Remember, be patient. Try one coefficient at a time. 
and look for pattern. And once you figure out the pattern, you are able to solve balancing chemical equation for any chemical equation. And now it's your turn to try balancing chemical equation by yourself.